there no. is somebody in the doorway. Hello? Lady Blair, how much do you charge? Me and Paul are looking for a good time. I heard a voice saying, it's behind you. From, da from down there. Down a whisper. There. Ghost Dimension. Carved out of sandstone, tonight we investigate Nottingham's City of Caves. These caves would have witnessed death, disease, and been a very hostile place to live in. With poor living conditions beyond comprehension. Few people in Nottingham are aware of this labyrinth, which exists underneath the city streets, and fewer still have witnessed them. People have worked and lived in them for over a thousand years. The caves are believed to date back as far as 900 AD. Are any of the souls who lost their lives here? Returning to haunt? <laughs> this is Ghost Dimension. Join us as we investigate the city of Caves. Paul, so this is the city of Caves. It is indeed. Nottingham. Now, this is 900, 900 AD. Roughly, yes. Yeah, as, as far as you've been able to, to track it back, but you are in one of the largest underground labyrinth of tunnels in the UK, uh, and they're still finding more. There's over 500. 500? It, it's yeah, true, 500 isn't it, that not many people in Nottingham know it's down here? No. Because no. It's I mean, a, it's literally it's under the feet, and they're, yeah, they're just walking, walking by, and they haven't got a clue. You, know? yeah. um, you can even ask some of the locals where this place is, mm. and they've what? never heard of it. Yeah. You know? So there's a network of tunnels uh, below here, and these seem to crisscross each other in like a labyrinth. Um, why are these tunnels here? Um, many years ago, this was part of the all normal for, for people to come underground, uh, shelter themselves and what have you, mm -hmm. uh, even set up um, like market stalls and shops, you wow. know. Uh, there, there's, there's been a tannery down here, a chap that would have worked on uh, hides from different sorts, sorts of animals. Um, it's got so much history regarding uh, like the Second World War. It was uh, used as for air raid shelter because of the fact it's so, de you know, it's so um, you know enclosed and safe because of the depth that we're down here. Yeah. Um, <coughs> there, there's so much history with like you know over 900 years. It's had all sorts of uses. Now I also, I mean, the whole thing is made out of sandstone. Sandstone, sandstone. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. It's carved in here, and it still amazes me with. That amount of history, there should be lots and lots of spirits. I'll tell you what I thought. You know, when we when we walked around before, and it's lovely. It really is. It's quite quaint, especially when they've dressed it up. Yeah. It's it's it looks really nice. It does now. Yeah. But now, you think about yeah. you know we've got the, the luxury, luxury of electricity. Yeah. You yeah. know when the um, lights go out. Not over nine hundred yeah. years ago, they wouldn't have had candles. You no. know, so no. it would have been whatever they could find to burn. Mm. Which would have been given your illumination, yeah. um, but obviously the more time you spend with zero visibility, the more your eyes adjust anyway. Mm. So these people would have had fantastic night vision. Yeah. Um, going up onto the surface, it would have really hurt yeah. their eyes. We now head deeper into the network of caves to uncover more of its history and secrets. So Paul, this would have been used as the cesspit. Um, tell us a bit about it. Um, well, there's lots of little uh, water channels down here, and obviously this is where they would have uh, got the, the water from, but it also would have been used to flush away human waste, waste and what have you. Right. Um, so they would have had uh, certain areas, areas for good drinking water, areas not to touch because that's where you've... Yeah. See, there could have been the smells down here. Oh, it would have been unmentionable, wouldn't they, it? It would have been. It would have been quite bad. Mm. Um, but obviously, you know, they would have tried to put the cesspit as far away from where they were actually living if you like yeah um but yeah you, you know as human you, you've got to go you know and if, you, if this is where you're living you, you've and you've got to, go to find somewhere. a place where to disperse yeah. first, first. Yeah. what do you think um what, what type of spirits do you think 
Um, Lurk around. Again, 900 years plus. Well, you know, yeah. there's going to have been a lot, a lot of people that have come and gone and mm. not left here <coughs> in, in spirit form. Um, so we do know that there's things like uh, shadows that have been spitzing down here. Yeah. Um, people have witnessed uh, full apparitions, noises, but again, you do get the, the, the acoustics and the echo of this place. Um, we have... Re- Did you hear that, then? Yeah. You're saying that, right? Yeah. Noises. There was a clear, audible whistle from the cesspit. Did yeah. you pick up on sound, Emma? Not really, no. We would have got it on one of the, the booths. Yeah. 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 Jay mm-hmm. might have picked up on his camera. No, I didn't hear anything. I'm going to call out, so if you get a look at it again. Fat whistle back. Well, when we do the investigation now. No. Yeah. No, call out. There's no. a whistle, I heard it. Yeah. Hello? Are you whistling to signify that you're here? Trying to get our, our attention? That's a, yeah. that's a tram, they go past every 10 minutes, because uh, we're underground, we can hear it. I Did heard you hear that. the whistle? Yeah. 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 You heard that on sound? Yeah, that Brilliant. Yeah. We could hear a very clear whistle in the cave, but we couldn't believe what we heard when we played the next sound back. It sounded like a female cry. Because uh, we're underground, we can hear it. Because uh, we're underground, we can hear it. I Did you hear the that. whistle? Yeah. yeah. You heard that on sound? That on Brilliant. Sound. Yeah. Hi, my name's Bex. And I'm Sean. And I'm Paul. We're investigators. And we want to find out about you. Can you give us another sign? What was that? That was um, feet. That was yeah, feet. Yeah, about coming towards us. When we come down and do the investigation, we'll bring an EVP. Yeah. And if they're making yeah. that noise, we'll capture something. Yeah. Hopefully we'll catch somebody speaking. I heard that. Yeah, I yeah. heard that. Did you what? hear that? It was a voice went, hmm. Yeah. So we're in now what was called the horseshoe, and that was possibly because of its shape. Uh, we found a door, and if I open it, you can see it goes back. Would they have used, what, what would they have used that for? Um, that might have been where they put the carcasses um, and, and stored uh, the, the hides and what have you before they yeah. decided to take them through to where we're going to go through in a few minutes to, to start the curing process. Right, okay. Now, is there any like reportings uh, of any entities that we know of here? Yes, this, we're, because we're in the tannery, apparently there's uh, a gentleman here who could have been the old tanner. Right. Uh, he's not a very happy person, doesn't like people coming down disturbing him. Perhaps he's still going through the process of uh, making the, the, the leather and whatever garments he was making, tunics, shoes, whatever. Um, but yeah, people have reported that this, this is an area that they get the feeling that they're being watched um, yeah. and it, it <coughs> feels oppressive to people. So we could find out who he is, what he wants, if he is the tanner, mm. and more impressively, if he's not the tanner, Maybe somebody from even further back. Yeah. Possibly. You know, it would be good in this room tonight to do a lone vigil. Yeah, and I think you should do the lone vigil with yeah. this person purportedly not liking ladies. Yeah, I'm, I'm up for that. Should we go on? Yeah, let's take a look at that because there's more of the tannery out there. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's huge. It is quite. It's quite big and it goes right through through here to the impressive. There's a step here, Dan. When you actually see this, it really gives you a feeling of what it was like back in the day. When you actually see it, it's just grand. The City of Caves appeared promising for our team tonight. There was already plenty of activity starting. We've come straight to the cesspit because before, when we were interviewing Paul, um, we heard noises instantly, didn't we? And it's got a different feel of it now, that the lights are off. Did you hear that? What was that? It was a bang, wasn't it? Oh yeah, I agree. It's a different feel. It's like depression. Yeah. You can now feel for the people that were here. It's very dark as well, isn't it? 
with all the lights off, it's pitch black, isn't it? Yeah, you've got more of a chance of identifying of you know their experience down here because yeah. you know, although we've got uh, a little bit of light off the cameras and, and the rim there, mm. they would have had to have fire, you know, yeah. some sort of flames because that's the only way that they've ever had yeah. any light. Yeah. Yeah. Quite intense mm. atmosphere, isn't it, down here already? And oppressive. Yeah. Could could we do? Let's get the EVP out. Mm -hmm. Let's try a quick EVP, just because I know we were hearing voices before. What the hell is that? It looks like it, it looked like some sort of shadow in there. Then I don't think it was. Oh God, it does. Yeah. Oh my God. No, you sorry. Just mm -hmm. right in the middle. Mm -hmm. Let your eyes adjust, and it looked like a dark, dark figure. There's like light in there. Right, okay, let's get this EVP. And then play it back. Done. And then we'll play it back. play it back. Yeah, because that seemed to want to play yeah. with us, didn't it, before? Okay. <clears throat> Recording on EVP. Is anybody here with us who would like to tell us who they are and what your name is? is like somebody was pushing me. Mm. Is it? Mm. Okay, let's ask it again. Please, if you're here with us, tell us your name. How many of you are there? Did you hear that? Yeah. That was behind you. Mm -hmm. That was like a whistle. How did you die? Were you frightened? Tell us your name. How old are you? Should we play that back? Let's play that back, Let's see what we back. get. Because we heard that audible noise. I did, didn't When we listened to the EVPs, nothing significant came up. So we now headed further into the caves to the horseshoe. This is where the male spirit doesn't like ladies. Uh, should we sit and call out? Yeah. Yeah, and I've got this device here, which I'll, I'll let Paul explain. And just went off the, that just, just went out. Oh, am I not allowed to sit down? Is this your area? Okay, I'm not close enough to set that off myself. So okay. this is okay. where I'll just put that down. Yeah. And I'm not setting it off, but it just did go off. Okay. <coughs> so no. The REMs are going off. As soon as I sat down, the REM went off as if it was not liking me sitting down. Why do you not like women? Who? Who's that? Bang bang? Mm -hmm. Let's have a listen. Can you do that again? Do you see them as beneath you? I heard that. Yeah. That's a trap. That's a trap. Can we use this? I'll let Paul explain this. Uh, yeah, new piece of uh, equipment. This is called the Rook, and it's uh, a new EMF meter. And the way it's calibrated, um, it doesn't react to mobile phones like the K2 does, right. um, or any general kind of electrics. So there really shouldn't be any fluctuations whatsoever on this, <coughs> unless it's something that's created its own okay. magnetic field. And it lights up. And already it's so. just as you did that and it started lighting, there was an orb that passed between Paul and Bex and went right. straight to that device. Are you are you interested in this device? Does it look does it look like a bit like fire? It's flickering like that, isn't it? Yeah. Like flames. Yeah. And it should it be flickering. Um. As the device appears to be interacting with a spirit, a clear orb appears out of nowhere above my head. We discounted dust as the light manifested on its own. And should it be flickering? Um, right now, I don't think it should be doing anything because no. there isn't anything down here now with all the power off. But I'm noticing a draft. Yeah. Can you feel that? <clears throat> well, the thing is with sandstone, it, it is pretty much a constant temperature yeah. regardless of what it is outside. It's pretty much always the same in here. And it's, it, I can feel a draft yeah. keep coming round. See this? There's something oh, going gone. on because yeah. it's not. Can't there's know. something in the corridor. I heard that. Can you just pan in there, please, and just check? I did. Now you've that. just done that, and this is 
No, it's, he's going mad. Can't Look. see anything in there. Yeah, you you can see that. I can see it on there now. I heard the shuffle. Did you uh, guys? Everyone, everyone yeah. that hit is part of the team is actually with us. So, are you down there? Have you got a camera there? And now what I'll do is while we're here talking. I'll point the camera down there. Well, he's obviously unhappy because there's three women in his space of work, perhaps, or whatever he was down here. And we've obviously stirred something up because this is going mental and this REM pod went off. Can we, have we got the EVP here? Yes. It's here. Put it down a second again. Let's, uh, and have we got the obvious? Uh, yes. Can you tell us your that? name? Oh. Oh, that may have been. That could have been you. Yeah, that was Paul. Yeah. yeah. That's debunked. Yeah, it could have been us. Yeah. So we've got the obvious. We've got a voice recorder. Mm. Oh. Sorry. Oh, something <laughs> touched my hand. <laughs> I just saw movement on this camera. What did that say? Life. Life. Okay. Did you live your life down here? Or did you lose your life down here? Did you hear that? Yeah. It's like a man's voice. Did you hear that? Like banging? It seems to be coming from behind me. Yeah. Yeah. Is Neil Tanner here? Are we in your space, your workspace right now? How about if you guys left me to do a lone vigil in here with this equipment? Yeah. I've got the camera. You guys go back upstairs. Mm -hmm. I'll do a quick loan vigil, see if I pick up, up anything. Because they ha the, the, the REM pod went off when I... Holy shit. Yeah. I heard that. I think that's, that's an acknowledgement. Do you know what, right, as well here, is the shadow person that does mm. not like females. So I think Maybe. So. I've got a better one. Maybe I should do it with Emma. Do it with Emma. Yeah. Double up. Double just up. Keep just keep safe. Just mm. because it, we don't know what we're dealing with right now. Yeah, let's do that, let's leave you to do it. Emma and I were left on our lone vigil on our own and Sean and Paul decided to head to an area of housing deeper in the caves and communicate with the Lady of the Night. Can you hear that? There is something Instantly, here. me and Emma have come on a lone vigil in the tanning area. We get wash on this... I don't know if you can pick it up, you can't pick that up. Oh, you can. Wash. Instantly that says wash, and behind us, we can hear like a, on it, I don't know what it is. What we've been left with is a rook, the walkie-talkie, the ovulus, a torch and two REM pods. Um, so do you reckon we should call out and see what we get? Yeah, I can do. Could you go first? Okay. Um, if there's anybody there that wants to talk to us, if it's the Tanner Man, um, you don't like women, well, there's two of us here in your space. Um, you want to come and talk to us? Make a noise for us? Oh God. Looked like something was coming into us. Is that you? White ball of light. There's more house stuff down this way. Yeah. Should we head down yeah. there? Causing ourselves a mischief. Just check that room, but there's nobody in there. Why don't you like women? Are they beneath you? Do you see us as dirt? Is that, maybe that's why we need a wash. Scratching again? Yeah. Is it coming from through there? What's in there? Not. Do you hear it? It's right behind us, but there's nothing behind us, it's just a wall. Can you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. If that's you, can you make it louder? Can you hear I can hear talking. talking. But there's... There's no one there. <laughs> It 
It's um, quite eerie, isn't it? It is. It's very, very dark. As yeah. daft as it sounds, it's very, very dark. Beat. Beat. Mm. Ooh, modern day prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> Kinky. Come on, make a noise. Identify yourself and let us know you're here. Let's try it a different way, shall we? Yeah. How much do you charge? Did you hear that? Somebody walking up behind me. Can you see that? I can. There's something like me. Oh, this one. This is fully going off. This is like somebody sat down with us. There's somebody what? in the doorway. There's somebody in the no. doorway. No. There's somebody in the doorway. Hello? We're not. Shit, he's coming in. Fuck. Something there. It walked in. Show yourself. Are we not welcome here? Why? This has been quiet for a while, this obvious. Talk to us. Come on. We're waiting for you. Me and Paul are looking for a good time. It's two men on our own. What the hell was that? I don't know. That sounded like somebody humming. Carrier again. That sounded like somebody on me. Come in. Should we go back? Let's go back. Have a look. Sounded like it was down here, didn't it? it? Did. That was weird. Though. Oh yeah. Oh. Should we try that again here? Yeah. Let's see. If... Should we sit? Placebo. Should we sit for a second? Yeah. See? Come on, tell us what. Why you don't like us? Tell us what angers you so much about women. You're not scaring us. We're made of tough stuff. We may scream, but deep down we're not scared. So come on, try your hardest. Do you can you move full step? Yeah, I can. Come closer to us. Are you coming into the room? It's coming towards us. Hello? Show yourself. Can you hear that? Yeah. That's just like a... It's, it's, what's that? What? I don't know. It's what? like a ball of white. There's something like, like flashing in front of... You can't pick it up on the camera. It's like right in front of the camera. The lady of night, how much do you charge? Me and Paul are looking for a good time and we just want to know how much you're going to charge us tonight. Do we get a discount for two? We're feeling lucky. To Girl. Girl. Spot on. We've got her. Definitely. Hello. Can you tell us what your name is? Is it straight down to business? Come on then, we're waiting. We're very respectful. We're just home on leave. We have needs. I'm sure we can help each other out. Come on, affect the equipment, please. Has the REM pods gone off again? This has stayed quiet though, the rook. That's been quite quiet. She says as it starts flashing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you hear that? I right just heard a male. Us. That was right in front of us. What is that noise? That's the REM pod going off. Do I have to stop it? To stop? You're going to have to reset that, yeah. That one's going off. 
it's uh, it's almost as though something is surrounding us. Yeah, like cornering us in. Hmm. Are we being cornered? Is there more than one of you? There is, isn't there? Hide. Hide. Hide? Are you telling us to hide or you're hiding from us? Because you're about to jump out at us? What is that? I don't know. There's something like a ball of light. In front of the camera. If we count how much and you give us a sign, an indication of how much you're going to charge. So, one, two, three, four, five, Is that a breath? Five, yeah. Is that a breath? Lay. Lay? Five, if you want us to lay, you'll lay for five. Wow. Come on. We want more than REM pods going off. We want to see you. We're not going to hide. We're not afraid. No. There's something in the corridor. Pan down, see if we get anything. That? That's definitely a male. Did you hear that? Hmm. We are here. You know what it sounds like? It says waste. We're not a waste. That's a bit rude. It's very rude. We're not a waste. I heard that. On the door. <laughs> it's definitely on the door. What was that used for? I think it was to throw like the carcasses of the animals, dead animals. You know the, the waste. Waste, waste. Of course. Are you telling us what this was used for? Did you hear whistle? I did. Got to be shillings, five pounds. I'd end up owning you. Yeah. <clears throat> so five pounds for a lay. Five Sorry, five shillings. Five shillings? Yeah, five shillings. You're a cheap day. Five shillings. Yeah, have you got a friend? Jesus. Jesus. That's like, Jesus, what more do you want? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she's really <laughs> playful. <coughs> very, this one yeah. is very playful. Got a sense of humour. We like that. Can you tell us your name? I'm Paul. And I'm Sean. And we're just two horny guys waiting for you. On leave from the army. You like army boys? Hello? Tell us your name. We know you're in here. We know you are. And we know you... What was that's, that? That's getting closer. Come closer. Come and sit down on these benches with us. What the hell is that? That's like close I don't know. to the it's... Whatever it is, is is getting closer. <laughs> it's getting closer into our atmosphere. Come and talk to us. It's really good that you're talking to us through this device, but can you make a noise? Can you see that bomb that's in front of us? We're very lucky it hasn't gone off, but can you tap on it? What was that? Sean and Paul were investigating for a lady of the night that is believed to wander certain parts of the cave and unbelievably they capture an EVP in a woman's voice saying hi. What was that? What was that? That was a grumble. It was. That was weird. It was. That was her. Sent. She's sent. It's like she sent us on our way. And that's a that's tram. That's a tram. <laughs> what the hell was 
into that. Um, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Set, uh, the, set, the, set the machines off. I think it's definitely time for us to... Um, should we leave now? Whoa! I think that's a definite yes. The REM pod's gone off once again. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was definitely a man, so I think we should leave. Oh. Between? Is somebody between us? Right, let's go. Let's go. Right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go back. We're gonna go up and get the others. Gonna go. Go go. Let's go this way. Okay. Wow. We've not, we've not got what we came for yet. We're still waiting. We've not got any services for our five shillings. To be fair, we haven't paid, remember? <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna be getting paid at this rate. And you'll nick it off as well, Yeah. We're <laughs> going to Muggers. We're going to leave now. America. So maybe she would rent. That goes with the territory, doesn't it? Yeah, we're going to go now, but thank you. Next time we expect a little bit more for our uh, five shillings. Damn right. No way. Pod. What? Pod. Tilt. What the hell's going on? Okay, we're still running. Yeah, okay. Uh, who just turned the lights off? It's emergency lighting. It doesn't go off. It's gone cold right here. Let's get a fuck out of there. But this could be what you get. You know, this could be really something special now. Have you just turned the lights off? Is that what you've just done? You're able to do that here and you want us in the dark? It's gone cold over my legs. Yeah, I'm not comfortable with it. Have you got a torch, I think? Yeah, yeah. It's just there on my hand. Is that you? Did you turn the lights off? Come on. It's very impressive. You're showing us how much power you've got. Do one more thing, just so that we know that you're capable of it. Flick the lights back on. One more thing, and I promise you, light. Light? How did you just show the light down there? Yeah, and that one's gone off. Yeah, and the light's gone off. The light had gone out on their own, and afterwards we could find no reason for this, and the obulus said lights. This confirmed to us that the ghosts are present and letting us know that they are there. We are in the air raid shelter to set up this portal device on top of the old radio. Um, and we're going to get some equipment set up as well, REM pods. Yeah, I was going to put the REM over in the doorway there and um, see if anybody comes and joins us. And I'm going to put a hat on okay. and just see if we can encourage these children to come. Totally yeah. agree. Yeah? yeah, maybe get the teddies out. Okay, I'll go and put this over here. I'm going to use um, this gas mask, so I'm just going to hold it because yeah. it's, if there's kids in here, I want them to be attracted to us, to this stuff. Yeah. And obviously you've got a teddy, haven't you, as well? Well, I've got two teddies um, to try and encourage... Alphabet. Alphabet. Ah. They would have still probably been educated while they were down here, yeah. learning things like the alphabet. Is there anything on there with an alphabet on that we can open? No. Puzzle. There's 
we get the machine. So we are going to do an experiment with the portal, see if that can generate something, bring it through to us, see if we can understand what they say. Focus on it. Poverty. Classic. Did you hear that? That's that Did you hear I'm that? Just, this is interfering with my hearing stuff. Did you hear that? I didn't. Oh, I heard. Right a, a, yeah, I heard a voice saying it's behind you. Oh. From da from down there. From there. Down there. Whisper. Me. Did you hear that banjo? I heard that. Indeed. So before I heard that. I heard that to the right. Yeah. So before when we were um, setting this machine up. On the obvious, we kept the obvious going, and on it, it said rabbit. And what we thought it could be was the old uh, song, the old nursery rhyme, yep. that used to be sung a lot to keep morale up down here in the wartime. Run rabbit, run rabbit, run, run, run. Yeah, because they would have kept, you know, the, the spirits the up spirit by singing, uh, singing songs and what have you. Yeah. Um, to me, that's kind of relevant with where we sat right now yeah. in the air raid shelter. In the air raid shelter, you know, yeah. We've oh, got wow. the portal going, which is on the radio, so okay. that it, it can be identified if there's anything coming through. Um, we've set that up. With us being underground, as I said earlier on. It eliminates. It should eliminate all radio waves, so if something does come through that, it's going to add a little bit more validity to it. Did you ever? Right behind you. I did. Like somebody joined you on the bench. Oh! Did I hear that? Yeah. I did. Yeah. There's Running. just a white light down there as well. Just going to go and have a look. Oh, yeah. Have a look. What the fuck? I saw that. Did you see that? Yeah. That was as a... Well, what the hell is that on the floor? There was movement on the I camera. Saw that. We appeared to catch some orbs on camera, followed by a ghostly voice that we believe to be female. It can clearly be heard saying Bex. There was movement on the camera. There was movement on the camera. Let's call out, see if see if the portal gives us any words. Are you here? Under. 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 <coughs> That's what we are right now, we're underground. We are. Yeah, we are. The... What the hell? What is... That's what the hell is There's that? There's loads of things going on in here. Yeah. Something at the door, something there. Well, something remember there. it's children, so there could be quite a few that are in here right now. Oh, Thank you for coming in then. Thank you. <gasps> By the door! By the yeah. door behind you! Yeah. Oh my They came God. in, they've come into the room. Hello! I've got the chills. I, I have. have. Yeah, Saying that I got a really ice cold yeah. breeze down my back as you said it. Yeah. Come and sit with us. I'm going to move this rat pod to here just to. Yeah, anybody yeah. comes near me. Let me reset that because it might turn. Honey? Past. Past. Are you from the past? We're from the future. What the hell is that noise? Oh, wow. Did you hear Yeah. yeah. That yeah. Was there was just a male voice from right behind me. Same what? Just a voice, I couldn't tell. Okay. If you were children, come to these little lights on the floor and play with them. And they'll light up. Well, speak into this device here. Touch it, play with it. I. What's that? Just 
squeeze. Squeeze? Do you want cuddles? Oh my god. Did you come down here to seek safety? I heard that. Yeah, tap, tap yeah. on the metal. Yeah. Hello? Paul, yeah. play that back. Yeah. That was I a just woman's heard that. voice. You heard that, didn't you, Everybody yeah. hear that, yeah. As I called out to the spirits, we could hear clearly making noises. We could not believe our ears when it responded back with the words, hello. Hello? <gasps> hello? <gasps> there was a response straight after the hello. General. That was weird. Right, let's just call out again. Because we just touched something there, didn't we? We did. What we'll have to do with the hell was that, did I don't you? Know. Yeah. A lot going on in here. Give us something Someone else. Come closer. Keys. Hey? No. Come closer to us. Are you playing hide and seek? You're very good at it. Are you six years old? Come on. Alice? Okay. Come on, play with us. I have some toys. Two teddies. Tap, tap. Yeah, I was running. And again. Okay, that's good. That's very good. Will you come and play a game? Can you see the blue lights on the floor? Can you see how quickly you can run to each one and touch the metal stick? Just run to one and then go to the other and see if you can make them light up. It's a new game. Whoa. Something touched me.